Compassion and humility were the hallmarks of the great enlightened master and founder of Sikhism. Born in 1469 in Punjab, India, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji traveled far and wide by foot, making long trips from as far as Mecca to present-day Myanmar to share his simple message, do honest work, meditate and share with others. The peaceful and loving path of Sikhism has appealed to many devotees around the world. In global communities, many Sikh practitioners continue with their noble spiritual lineage of vegetarianism, meaning an animal-free diet. Guru Nanak Dev Ji's wisdom and teachings, along with the gurus who succeeded him and those of other saints and masters, are embodied in the holy text of the Sri Guru Granth Sahib. Currently housed in the most sanctified golden temple in Amritsar, India, the poetic divine compositions form the basis for the sacred scriptures of the Sikhs. We present to you today an excerpt of the enlightened teachings of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji from the holy Sri Guru Granth Sahib. One Universal Creator God By the grace of the true Guru Sri Rag First Mahal First House Atapadis I speak and chant his praises Vibrating the instrument of my mind The more I know him The more I vibrate it The One unto whom we vibrate and sing. How great is he, and where is his place? Those who speak of him and praise him, they all continue speaking of him with love. O Baba, the Lord Allah, is inaccessible and infinite. Sacred is his name, and sacred is his place. He is the true cherisher. The extent of your command cannot be seen. No one knows how to write it. Even if a hundred poets met together, they could not describe even a tiny bit of it. No one has found your value. They all merely write what they have heard again and again. The peers, religious people, the prophets, the spiritual teachers, the faithful, the innocents and the martyrs, the sheikhs, the mystics, the Kajis, the Mulhas, and the Derveses at his door. They are blessed all the more as they continue reading their prayers in praise to him. He seeks no advice when he builds. He seeks no advice when he destroys. He seeks no advice while giving or taking. He alone knows his creative power. He himself does all deeds. He beholds all in his vision. He gives to those with whom he is pleased. His place and his name are not known. No one knows how great is his name. How great is that place where my sovereign Lord dwells. No one can reach it. Whom shall I go and ask? One class of people does not like the other when one has been made great. Greatness is only in his great hands. He gives to those with whom he is pleased. By the hukum of his command, he himself regenerates without a moment's delay. Everyone cries out, more, more, with the idea of receiving. How great should we call the giver? His gifts are beyond estimation. O Nanak, there is no deficiency. Your storehouses are filled to overflowing, age after age. First Mahal, all are brides of the husband Lord. All decorate themselves for him. But when the time comes to settle their accounts, their red robes are corrupt. His love is not obtained through hypocrisy. Her false coverings bring only ruin. 
The happy soul bride is pleasing to you. Lord, by your grace, you adorn her. She is decorated with the word of the Guru's sabad, sound, her mind and body belong to her husband, Lord. With her palms pressed together, she stands, waiting on him, and offers her true prayers to him. Dyed in the deep crimson of the love of her darling Lord, she dwells in the fear of the true one. Imbued with his love, she is dyed in the color of his love. She is said to be the handmaiden of her beloved Lord. His sweetheart surrenders to his name. True love is never broken. She is united in union with the True One. Attuned to the word of the Shabbat, sound, her mind is pierced through. I am forever a sacrifice to Him. That bride who was absorbed into the True Guru shall never become a widow. Her husband, Lord, is beautiful. His body is forever fresh and new. The True One does not die and shall not go. He continually enjoys his happy soul bride. He casts his gracious glance of truth upon her and she abides in his will. The bride braids her hair with truth. Her clothes are decorated with his love. Like the essence of sandalwood, he permeates her consciousness, and the temple of the tenth gate is opened. The lamp of the sabad sound is lit, and the name of the Lord is her necklace. She is the most beautiful among women. Upon her forehead she wears the jewel of the Lord's love. Her glory and her wisdom are magnificent. Her love for the infinite Lord is true. Other than her beloved Lord, she knows no man, she enshrines love for the true Guru. Asleep in the darkness of the night, how shall she pass her life night without her husband? Her limbs shall burn, her body shall burn, and her mind and wealth shall burn as well. When the husband does not enjoy his bride, then her youth passes away in vain. The husband is on the bed, but the bride is asleep and so she does not come to know him. While I am asleep, my husband's Lord is awake. Where can I go for advice? The true Guru has led me to meet him, and now I dwell in the fear of God. O Nanak, his love is always with me. People are just like this fish, unaware the noose of death descends upon them. The whole world is bound by death. Without the Guru, death cannot be avoided. Those who are attuned to the truth are saved. They renounce duality and corruption. I am a sacrifice to those who are found to be truthful in the true court. Those who are protected by the Guru are saved. The others are caught by the bait without the name they are picked up and thrown away. They have no friends or companions. God is said to be the truest of the true. His place is the truest of the true. Those who obey the true one, their minds abide in true meditation. Those who become Gurmukh, truth seeker, and obtain spiritual wisdom, their minds and mouths are known to be pure. Offer your most sincere prayers to the true Guru, so that he may unite you with your best friend. Meeting your best friend, you shall find peace. The messenger of death shall take poison and die. I dwell deep within the name. The name has come to dwell within my mind. Without the Guru, there is only pitch darkness. Without Sabad, sound, understanding is not obtained. Through the Guru's teachings, you shall be enlightened. Remain absorbed in the love of the true Lord. Death does not go there. Your light shall merge with the light. You are my best friend. You are all-knowing. 
You are the one who unites us with yourself. Through the word of the Guru Shabad, sound, we praise you. You have no end or limitation. Death does not reach that place where the infinite word of the Guru Shabad sound resounds. By the hukum of his command, all are created. By his command, actions are performed. By his command, all are subject to death. By his command, they merge in truth. O Nanak, whatever pleases his will comes to pass. Nothing is in the hands of these beings. Sri Rag, first Mahal. If the mind is polluted, then the body is polluted, and the tongue is polluted as well. With false mouths, people speak falsehood. How can they be made pure? Without the holy water of the Sabad, sound, they are not cleansed. From the true one alone comes truth. O oh, soul bride, without virtue, what happiness can there be? She is at peace in the love of the true word of the Sabad sound. When the husband goes away, the bride suffers in the pain of separation, like the fish in shallow water crying for mercy. As it pleases the will of the husband Lord, peace is obtained when he himself casts his glance of grace. Praise your husband, Lord, together with your bridesmaids and friends. The body is beautified and the mind is fascinated. Imbued with his love, we are enraptured. Adorned with the Shabbat sound, the beautiful bride enjoys her husband with virtue. The soul bride is of no use at all if she is evil and without virtue. She does not find peace in this world or the next. She burns in falsehood and corruption. Coming and going are very difficult for that bride who is abandoned and forgotten by her husband, Lord. The beautiful soul bride of the husband, Lord, she is of no use to her husband if she babbles in useless arguments, at the door of his home she finds no shelter. She is discarded for seeking other pleasures. The pundits, the religious scholars, read their books, but they do not understand the real meaning. They give instructions to others and then walk away, but they deal in Maya themselves. Speaking falsehood, they wander around the world while those who remain true to the Sabad sound are excellent and exalted. There are so many pundits and astrologers who ponder over the Vedas. They glorify their disputes and arguments, and in these controversies they continue coming and going. Without the Guru, they are not released from their karma, retribution, although they speak and listen and preach and explain. They all call themselves virtuous. But I have no virtue at all. With the Lord as her husband, the soul bride is happy. I too love that God. O Nanak, through the Shabbat, sound, union is obtained. There is no more separation. Thank you, wise viewers for your company for today's episode of Between Master and Disciples. Join us again next Thursday for part two of the excerpt of the teachings of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, pages 53 to 58 of the Sri Guru Granth Sahib. Coming up next is Animal World, our co-inhabitants, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May you always be immersed in the mercy and love from heaven. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.